Guys, we are back with a very special video. As you guys can see in the title down below, this one's a little bit different, and it always is different because we're always gonna have some clean shoes. My bad, just fixing the camera a little bit. Boom. We got the Air Jordan 1 Padding Breads, guys. These released pretty recently, and they're going very, very hype. A lot of people really, really love them. Obviously, you got the Fearless UNCs, and then you got um, what's it called? A bunch of other uh, patent leathers like the UNC regular patent leathers that were a woman's release and then you got some bread So it's been a minute since a patent leather has been released um, But you have one right here and this is the patent bread one of the most iconic colorways from an Air Jordan 1 The materials on this are just insane You got the you got the kind of patent leather going all around the entire shoe The really really dope check mark the clean white sole the just beautiful in your face cherry red sole as well too This is the midsole and the white and then everything is very very comfortable here is very plush and comfortable right where the heel is it is super super comfortable and plush you got the family on the inside right there and yeah just a really really comfortable shoe guys i put it on and it was just so comfy and it worked really really well and honestly if you guys are worried about creasing just keep a crease protector on the inside if you're really really worried about it but patterns they're not too bad man i got some shattered backboards up there that i've been wearing a lot and honestly they didn't crease that bad they don't crease too crazy it's pretty similar to the actual creasing of like a real shoe i know a real shoe is is able to you're able to fix it and it's not as bad but it's not that bad i don't see it being like too too crazy but this is just so soft man i can't get over it on the inside right here like it's really really soft um and yeah it's just a beautiful shoe man you got the red on the tag and everything like that so so clean guys and i know you guys love getting into the hd shots so let's get into an up close again to on foot hit me up on instagram at p-e-c-y-y-v let's see if you have any questions about fashion or anything shoes whatever it is hit me up there guys shoot me a dm and i love you guys so much to get into the up foot and the on close without further ado so you guys can see how it is and yeah guys love y'all take care you let's get it all right guys so we are going to get into a part three or a uh what's it called um third shoe in my entire collection um that i really really mess with um and pretty much is a shoe that is going to be releasing soon it is the air jordan one og heritage um sneakers guys so this shoe right here is just honestly beyond gorgeous reason being is because guys if you take a look at this from first look you guys can right see behind me there's a chicago one right there behind me this resembles the chicago one but pretty much inverted so you got the red on the toe box you got the white on the body and the materials are just insane you got this really really thick grainy leather right here this matte white a leather going all across there the red cherry red sole and it's just a really unique looking shoe especially with the black laces like that um it makes it really really stand out it is very subtle and i like the play on putting the white as the main um focus of color so this this kind of resembles to me like the fragment ones the fragment ones have a blue toe and then white going all around there was even a rumored chicago air jordan one cactus jack that was coming out and uh pictures were uh, resurfacing and stuff like that but you have this really really dope heritage um og that is going to be coming out soon hopefully in 2022 which is going to be amazing they've announced um a few details about it um and it's going to be just a beautiful crazy shoe that everybody's going to go insane over and guys to have it in my hand right here is pretty sick um it is honestly crazy you know you got the classic logo right there so everything is simple it's just a classic embodies a classic air jordan one but you have like these very very thick laces the two the two um different types of leathers right here and then the grainy check mark which is really cool and just everything all around here is very very plush as well too definitely um one of the hype shoes in my collection currently uh, because i feel like people are gonna go crazy over these kicks and it does come in a really really cool white and red box so it's kind of inverted as well too on the air jordan box because the typical air jordan box comes in with the red uh nike air logo and then it has the black box but this is white with the red nike air logo guys so without further ado guys um let's get into the next shoe but i hope you guys like the shoe and let me know what you think down below. all right here guys we're gonna get into number four of the kicks in my sneaker collection obviously we're gonna go through five with this one i do have a lot of shoes as you guys can see and I've even gotten through 10 I think I've gotten through like 10 of them and this will be like my third video so that'll be about like 15 but I have like 60 shoes so it's pretty crazy but I like putting these into parts because obviously if I put it on to one thing it'll be way way too much I mean I could obviously show like a quick one and just be like oh look at this look at this look at this but I like going into a bit of detail so we do got a really really dope shoe here guys that I really really excited on it's probably one of my grails um, that I've always wanted to have and those are the OVO 12s and the 
obviously guys if you guys don't know what OVO is OVO is October's very own which is Drake's collective um, and that being a collective it means it's his label it's his clothing brand it's his stamp it's his brand in general so OVO is his entire collective he was born in October so October's very own is pretty much what his whole collective is kind of surrounded under. You got this carbon fiber kind of cage digital camo under here. You got the OVO logo, which is nice kind of gold glitter. And this like, it looks like a rib cage right here, which is really sick. The jump man going across here. The really nice kind of um, dotted um, outer area right there. And guys, honestly, 12s look very sophisticated. I've always been obsessed with the taxis, uh, but 12s look very, very sophisticated. Um, I've seen these OVOs in person and just to see them and see the owl on the inside as well there too. They had a very sophisticated shoe. They're very simplistic and this can go with pretty much anything you got the old anklets right here and this shoe is honestly paired with anything i have not worn it yet as you guys can see um it's definitely a shoe that just sits uh, on my on my uh, shelf because it is just really really special to me and i've always been a big fan of drake uh from the time that he came out obviously being a toronto boy um when drake came out in like 2006 i was listening to this guy so um definitely a big big uh you know shoe for me and that's something that i will not uh give up <laughs> and let's get into the last shoe here um you guys may not know this about me but i am huge on 13s um air jordan 13s are one of my favorite air jordans so i'm really really big on 13s so we got here which is the obsidian 13s that i believe haven't been released yet or they're set to release um 13s are some of my favorite shoes just because they're so cozy and i just love the basketball look that they have whenever i see them i've always just i just find love it's like really really hard and you guys obviously know a sneaker head that like it's really really hard to explain but you just see a shoe and you just fall in love with it and that's your shoe uh so for some people it's the sixes the fives the threes the ones whatever it is but when i seen the 13s i just fell in love you got this suede middle um you got this really really nice green leather on the outside really really soft plush tongue really soft outer i mean uh heel area i love it it almost looks like an alien footprint that's what i always thought of it when i seen the bottom of the shoe it looks like an alien um and that's kind of what i took of it you got a little logo right there of the jump man and they ha I love this kind of like frosted kind of globe that is on the inside right here that holds the Jumpman logo as well too entire leather uh besides the suede on the side right here but these are one of the most comfy shoes guys will ever wear um they are high tops as well too and jordan 13s are just like oh man they mean they mean too much to me but we do have some 13 he got games up here too let me show so you these are my he got game 13s right here and then these are my obsidian 13s right here i'm huge on 13s i love collecting 13s i know it's kind of weird <laughs> because they're not a typical shoe but he got game 13s obsidian 13s man i'm gonna collect a lot more 13s this year i love them so much guys and without further ado guys that is the end of the video i love y'all so much hit me up on instagram at pcyyv and let's see ah so your post notifications on hit me up on there if you guys need help with anything have any type of questions and end it off with some classic 13s and i love y'all so much yeah so guys another shoe in my collection that i feel like is so 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 fresh um we got some really beautiful kicks here guys we got some amiri um one highs kind of i would say very similar to the air jordan silhouette but also very very beautiful just such a freaking clean shoe man I love this shoe so much. You got the Amiri logo right here. On the bottom, you got the logo right here as well too. The shoe is just so clean all around. My bad for the focus. It comes with this really cool kind of steel tag right here that gives it just a little bit of flair and kind of this designer flair. You got this really grain material here, this matte black going all around here. That's very, very smooth. This nice cushioned tongue. You gotta unlace these, these, these uh, laces right here for it to be a little more easier to slide into. But once you do, it's very, very easy. And they're very comfortable. And these laces are really, really easy to take on and off. Really comfortable backing right here. This is the first thing I noticed. Like, look how thick that is. That's the first thing I noticed when I tried these shoes on. I'm like, wow, like the support on the heel area is actually really, really nice. And then the black sole is really nice because when you're walking around, no matter where you do, no matter what you do in the shoe, um, it's not going to get dirty. And this, this shoe easily, man, I'm not going to cap to you. I could see this shoe looking even nicer when it's worn. That's the craziest part. I could see this shoe being even nicer when it's worn. When this shoe is worn, um, I feel like it's gonna get even nicer. It's gonna have like this vintage look because it's a little slimmer than Air Jordan ones, and it already has like this grainy leather and stuff that ages very well. So I feel like it's gonna get very, very nice with age. It's one of those shoes that are gonna look even better with age, guys. And without further ado, let's get into. Yo, what is up, guys? My bad for the bummy top. Your boy just runs around cozy in the house in this, but. The last shoe that we're going to be getting to in, in my sneaker collection is going to be, my bad guys, I had to fix up the colors a little bit, I was looking a little too white. 
I'm half Spanish, I'm not that way, you know? <laughs> but when you get into the Vapor Waffle gum, so right here, guys, we have this beautiful Sakai Nike collab that is rumored. Um, I think a re-release is happening because it was already released, but easily one of my favorite like kind of trainer style shoes um i know you guys kind of have those fits and you guys see these fits a lot where where it will just be like a classic pair of just kind of like some nice trousers nice crop trousers you'll throw these on with some nice socks you'll throw on a nice little tennis crew neck maybe a denim jacket overneath maybe a bomber jacket overneath with a nice little cap looking in like this vintage style kind of run wear or you wear like a nice little chain with a nice little dior t nice you know nice jeans with a jacket over overhead too as well like a trench coat to give this kind of runner casual vibe these are definitely what it is and the bottom is this really really dope gum sole but i love these yo heads up too these give you crazy height they will add like one to two inches so just a little bit of a heads up but beautiful shoes you guys can see nike sakai on the inside and it has two tongues which is crazy um I've reviewed the shoe previously, but I will come out with another review, guys. Beautiful shoe, guys. Probably one of my favorite in my collection because it is so versatile. You got this kind of suede material going on here, and you got this kind of nice bubble, kind of almost jacket type material. So really, really cool shoe. I really, really love the shoe and the two-tone laces. So there's a regular kind of typical lace, and there's like a satin ribbon lace right there. So really cool what Sakai does, man. He's coming out with some Cortezes, too, which are going to be insane. I can't wait to get my hands on those, guys. Without further ado, let's get into the end of the video. <laughs> you guys I was about to do on um, photo, whatever it is. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit me up on Instagram at P E T E Y Y V L N C I. I love y'all so much, guys. And new video coming soon.